good day everybody thank you so much for tuning in today today we're going to be making organic blue corn cookies okay so let's get our supplies here are the ingredients you will be needing for today's recipe And those of you who did sign up, you did get a few supplies that we were able to actually put together for you at Blue Corn Custom Designs. There's a lot of goodies in there. We hope you really enjoy it. We also were able to put some Navajo tea in there. You also received in your packet a bag of blue corn meal. This is something that's very accessible over at Natural Grocer. So one thing to remember when dealing with this type of blue corn is you definitely want to be able to sift it. Here's our dry ingredients. We have our bluebird flour. Here is the sifted blue cornmeal. Now that we're done with the flour, we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Next, we have the juniper ash. Now we're gonna work with one tablespoon of juniper ash and one half a teaspoon of baking soda. Next, we have the wet ingredients, which includes the light brown sugar. You also have the lemon extract, the organic cane sugar, as well as one stick of butter and one egg. Now, this stick of butter here is salted, and that's one reason why we're not adding the additional salt. Now, could you add unsalted? The answer is yes. Now the next item is the butter. Now this came out of the refrigerator. This is something that we don't necessarily need at room temperature. It's gonna make the dough very, very sticky and hard to deal with, especially if you're using cookie cutters that have patterns on it. Uh, the more popular one that we do is the corn cutter. That's a beautiful design. A lot of people love that, but when the dough is very, very sticky, it's hard. If you come across that problem, you wanna just go ahead and put your dough into the refrigerator for about 10, 15 minutes. The ingredient we have is the light brown sugar. Now we're gonna add that to the butter. This has a warm caramel flavor. It's great for baking. We wanna to begin to turn on our mixer. I love my mixer. I've had it for a very long time. It saves me a lot of time to you know, have this machine do all the hard work and give my hand a rest. So it does the job and that's what we want. Now this recipe calls for a half a cup of cane sugar. So we'll just quickly add that and that's going to mix up really nice there. One thing I wouldn't substitute is the light brown sugar. I find that this organic one made from wholesome works really well with the cookies. We're going to open up our lemon extract and we will just begin to lightly pour that in with the butter and the sugar and then you're going to add one egg okay once i have that cracked open i'm going to turn this on once more and i'm going to add the egg the next item i want to do is go ahead and grab my dry ingredient bowl i'm going to bring that over Okay, now I have the dry ingredient bowl here nearby. I'm gonna give it one more last mix. Now I have this set to low. It's really important that it maintains on low. When you begin to add the dry ingredients, see a point where you will just stir it with a spoon. So let's just go ahead and turn this off. Now I'm gonna grab a spoon. I'm gonna begin to add the dry ingredients. 
Now these are very similar to sugar cookies, so those of you who do bake sugar cookies, I'm sure you know all these steps. If you do have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. Go ahead and just comment down below. Now I'm gonna reserve some for a little bit later. Now at this point, I'm gonna turn off the mixer and I am going to go ahead and begin to just stir it with the spoon here. Just make sure all this is off. Now, if you don't wanna make blue corn cookies with lemon, what you do is you actually just substitute the lemon extract and you put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. If this one is not available, this is another one we love to use here. And now we are going to add the rest of the flour, the dry ingredients. This dough here with all these ingredients can make anywhere between 80 mini cookies to 10 large blue corn cookies. Okay, it's looking really delicious. I can still smell that lemon. I'm seeing the color of the blue corn and the juniper ash, getting that nice and dark. Sometimes when we get blue cornmeal, sometimes it's a little purple color, but when you add that juniper ash, you see those colors changing. And it doesn't take very long for it to change. Depending on what your dough looks like, if you feel that your dough is way too dry, if you are using roasted cornmeal, that's okay. You just need to add a little bit more egg. And now it's at a good place where I'm going to begin to roll it. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out of the bowl and we're gonna roll it out on the rolling pin. We're gonna use our rolling pin to flatten it out. We want it about a fourth of an inch thick. We want it about a fourth of an inch thick. We're gonna grab our cookie cutters. I'm choosing to make this one here. Very simple design. A very simple flower design. Okay, today I'm using the unbleached natural brown baking paper. And we're gonna place this on our cookie sheet. Okay, now that our cookies are fresh out of the oven, the next step is to begin to seal them because we want to maintain that freshness. So let's go ahead and get our supplies together and get started. Being safe while prepping cookies is really important. So let's go ahead and grab one of these bags here. And what we're gonna do, the goal here is to really seal in the freshness of the cookie. And that's the reason why we're using this item here. This really helps, especially when it comes to shipping your item, when it comes to several, when it comes to different events. I hope you enjoy it. I was so happy to get these bundles together for you to make it so easy for you to send cookies to your loved ones today. Okay, so let's go ahead and decide what color we're gonna use. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm simply going to place this in here. I'm gonna fold it over just to make sure it fits. Okay, that's perfect. That's a great size there. All right. Now the next thing is to get our filler. And you simply want to expand it. And make it as even as possible. All right, that's looking really great. Just depending on what color you wish to add. You could also use the extra tissue paper to put underneath if you're only sending a smaller amount of cookies. And now we're ready to place our cookies inside. And with this one here, I'm just gonna simply fold that over just so that it fits perfectly in the middle. Just for fun, we added just a few stickers. You can place them anywhere. It simply says, thank you, handmade with love. We could put it on the bottom of the box. I'm just gonna place this here in the middle. And then we're just gonna simply fold it over and make sure it's as tight as possible. Okay, and then I'm gonna use one of these stickers to just hold this tissue paper down. And place it right there in the middle. Okay, there we have it. Now we're ready to close the box. Of course, if you wanna add a card, and that is perfect all the way around. And we're gonna use this to seal the box. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please comment down below and we will do our best to answer all of your questions. Thank you so much and have a great day.